Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestemonga channel guys. I am Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. In last part, we just discussed about the introduction of Fusion and why we are starting the Fusion because Photon 2 is not going to release any update. So Fusion is going to be a future. So we started with the introduction. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how we can set up our project, how we, how we can install Fusion. If you are new on the channel, make sure to subscribe the channel. And if you have not watched first part, so you must watch because I have explained so many stuff like why fusion and uh, fusion is uh, totally different because it's com it contained uh, so many topology like in the photon you get only post client topology but in this you get three topology so you have to understand so let's start the today video if you're new on the channel make sure to subscribe the channel you can join my channel you can give me thanks to support the channel so let's start the today video so step one will be to create new projects so just go on the new and here you can see this is the 2022.3.19 f1 this is the latest lts version that is launched in and current date is 18 february 2024 and it was launched in just january so it is updated one so just we are going to create in urp because urp is also fusion like because urp is also future like fusion so we have to start with urp so just click on the 3d urp and here is the project name so let's create tutorial and just create project currently we are creating our project step two will be to just create id on the fusion so if you have photon id so that's great if you have not so you can sign up and here is i have already sign up so currently i am on the dashboard so you have to go in the dashboard so in the step two what you have to do is create new app so just click on the create new app and here you can see we are getting two option multiplayer game non-gaming app so if you are working on any vr application uh, like social based application or any metaverse so at that time you have to choose non-gaming application because these are not games these are the educational purpose training purpose or medical simulation so basically fusion have take care for the game as well as non-gaming application like metaverse so if you are getting started with the with the vr xr or any training application any metaverse so you can choose non-gaming so our tutorial is for just basic knowledge so you can go with anyone but i am going with the multiplayer so just click on the multiplayer and here is the select photon sdk so here we have to choose that which sdk we are using so that it define that which server we have to use so currently uh, it is real time we don't want this we want fusion so just click on the fusion and here you can see select sdk version so in sdk version there is two version uh, fusion one fusion two so fusion one is older fusion two is updated one means there was some bug in fusion one so just they improve in fusion two so we have to go with the fusion two and they have also recommended and here we have to give the name so let's suppose we are giving the name tutorial so it is just testing purpose and here we have to create you can give the description that doesn't matter so just create so here we have created and here is the app id so just copy it but before but before using this app id what we have to do so we have just created our project installing our sdk we have to perform two things so before importing our sdk we have to perform two things first one is asset serialization and second is mono seal so for the asset serialization because fusion setting is stored in the scriptable object so we have to on the serialization asset serialization so we want asset serialization and for this we have to go in the edit and project setting and in project setting that is the editor and in editor make sure that asset serialization mod is force text so if there is anything so you have to choose on the force text and by default in this version it is giving the four text and second step is that we have to go in the window and we have to on on the mono seal sdk so basically mono seal is just because uh, because fusion create the low level level code and that inject uh, processes happen by using the mono seal so we have to go in the package manager so go in the window and here's the and in package manager what we have to do is just go on the plus item and here we will get the git url so we have to just copy this package com.unity.nugget.mono and seal at the rate 1.10.2 
so just copy it and go in unity and on the plus button you have to add package from git and just paste here you can see that mono seal have been installed so this is the basic setup so no issue so this is the basic setup that we have followed two things that we have just ate the acid serialization and second step was the mono seal and third step is to add the sdk so how we can add the sdk on the fusion website from there we can install or we can just go on the asset store so just click on the asset store store we have to search fusion and this is the fusion state sync multiplayer okay so just click on the open unity so here we can see this is the photon fusion and here we have to import it so just click on the import to get everything so just click on the import here you can see that we have installed photon fusion 2 and here it is asking for fusion app id so here we are going to use the app id that we just so here we have to just copy it and just go in application and just here on the welcome screen we can paste okay and after that we have to just go here fusion setup and here you can see that is the fusion network project setting so currently it is the here but if you are clicking here so just close this window so that you can see what's going on so here in the fusion network setting and this id will be so click on the fusion network project setting so that will be just get in the app setting okay and whenever we are clicking here so here you can see just close this window and here you can see that is the app setting and here you can see we are able to add the app id fusion so that is the app id fusion in the future we will do the tutorial on the uh, point two wise so we will add this thing but currently it is just fusion okay and these are the settings so we are going with the default so in the first part i told you that there are three topology hover and shared mode so currently we are starting our project on the host is the scene so just click and scene so this name will be one so just click here and open this one we will start our coding part and before coding part uh, what we have to learn is that we are starting a multiplayer thing like uh, i want to share with you a very important thing like when we were working on the photon so we were using the pun callbacks photon callback when we are using the fusion 2 so there is one uh, we use so many callbacks that we call fusion network runner so this is the terms you have to always remember fusion network runner so network runner runner play a very important role in fusion 2 it provide all the callbacks so we have to implement i network runner so that provide all the callbacks like uh, on enter on room joint on exit so it it give us so many stuff so we will learn those things so you have to always remember that fusion network runner runner play a very important role it is a heart it is a soul of fusion we are going to just create one script create a folder that is the script we have to create our fusion script so create fusion so here what we have to create basically i told you that network runner play a very important role in fusion here in the hierarchy network runner, runner should be or we have to just implement the network runner so first step is just create the script so create and here is the csr so here you create one game object that is basic power and there we have to patch our this script so basically in this script what we are going to do is just we are going to implement the network runner callback so we are going to integrate network callback we will talk about in next tutorial hope you enjoy the tutorial if you have any questions so just let me know thanks for watching and let me repeat that we are starting with host topology so in host what happens that uh, just a player play play the role of server and client so basically uh, a player can be a server player can be a client so that we are going to start in next part so thanks for watching have a good day if you have any confusion let me know in the comment box and see you in next video bye bye take care